In this video, we will be covering some hidden features in WinSQL that can assist you in writing advanced queries more efficiently and extracting data from data sets. The first feature I'm going to cover is dragging and dropping objects into the query window. You can drag and drop any object into the query window as long as you are using at least a professional version of WinSQL. In most cases, this will just copy the object. However, in a few instances, this can do a bit more. For example, if I type insert into and then drag and drop a field name, WinSQL will complete the remaining insert statement. Similarly, if I have the keyword select by itself and I drag and drop a table, WinSQL will complete the select statement up to the from clause. The next feature is converting SQL statements into code. I can highlight part of the script in WinSQL and right click and select convert to code. This is a quick way for programmers to convert SQL statements to code to be used in a variety of languages. Currently, WinSQL supports C Sharp, Visual Basic, Java, and Excel VBA. If I'd like, I can change the name of a variable and WinSQL will adjust the code automatically. Once satisfied, I can click Copy to copy the script to the clipboard and then paste it in an IDE. The next features I want to talk about revolve around copying and pasting. If you ever need to select vertically, you can hold the Alt key and select the desired segment. If I copy and paste this selection, you will see that WinSQL has maintained the vertical formatting. Normally, when copying in WinSQL and pasting in any other program, it does not maintain the same formatting. If you wish to keep the same formatting, you can right-click and select Extended Copy and Rich Text. This will keep the formatting when pasting elsewhere. You also have the option of copying as HTML format with the appropriate tags, which is very useful for web publishing. This feature also works when copying from the results grid. For example, I can highlight these features and select Extended Copy, Copy CSV. I can then type a WHERE clause and paste the contents here to keep appropriate formatting. Similarly, if you copy as HTML from the grid, it will add these values as a table. There are several special comments in WinSQL that will do a variety of tasks. We have a KB article that you can see here that will discuss these. In this query, you will notice the extra comments in green. In this example, these comments will change the title of the results tab. When I run the query, you will see the titles of the tabs change. The next hidden feature is a trick to quickly run the last query. The Query menu has an option to do this, however, using the mouse and selecting an option could be quite cumbersome. You can customize shortcuts in WinSQL by clicking on Tools and Customize Shortcuts. WinSQL will always run the query that appears first in the History tab. You can access the History tab by clicking on this button here. The benefit of this is that WinSQL will remember code that was run even if the program was closed. You can also run queries directly from this window by right-clicking and selecting Run Query. If you have any questions regarding these features, we have multiple KB articles on our website. Or you can reach out to us at support at cinemetrics.com.